Why don't you bring an aircraft carrier to the uh, Red Sea? You know, I remember that Roosevelt had brought Ibn Saud to an American destroyer during World War II. I said, bring an aircraft carrier and invite me and uh, the leaders of Saudi Arabia, the Emirates and Bahrain, and we can get, of course, Egypt and, and Jordan for a summit. And the summit should be to deal with Iran. But that would produce, I said, four peace treaties. I said, there are other countries. I was thinking of Morocco. I was thinking of Sudan. I was already thinking of that. And I, uh, I didn't get very far. I, I, think, I think the president at the time was consumed with the idea of bartering an Israeli-Palestinian uh, uh, peace, the art of the deal. <laughs> and uh, as hard as I tried, I tried to explain, look, they don't want peace. They, they, they don't want a state next to Israel. They want a state instead of Israel. So we can waste a lot of time trying to get that. Or we can have these peace treaties like that. Well, it took about three years for that realization to sink in, and I'm glad it did, because the help of the uh, American administration and Trump was essential for that. But I think we could have already had peace with Saudi Arabia. And if I'm reelected now, I'm going to have peace with Saudi Arabia. And they trust me. They trust me to give the, the, the bulwark against Iran. And if we have peace with Saudi Arabia, effectively the Arab-Israeli conflict is over. Yes, we don't have Yemen. Yes, we don't have Iraq, Syria. That's not important. So my idea was that everybody said, you have to have peace with the Palestinians to get peace with the Arab world. And my idea was the exact opposite. You go to the Arab world, leave the Palestinians to the end, they'll come around. Uh, but don't let that, uh, you know, don't let the tail wag the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so in a second, I want to ask you about that potential peace with Saudi Arabia and, and what that would look like, because they clearly are interested in, in making nor, in normalizing relations with, with the state of Israel. I mean, there wouldn't be peace with the UAE and Bahrain if, if Saudi Arabia hadn't signed off on it. You, you don't know how right you are. So let's talk about the possibility of a, of a more durable peace, these, the title of one of your books, uh, with, with Saudi Arabia. So the, the Saudis obviously have a, a strong interest in making peace with Israel. They're, they're having to navigate a gauntlet that a lot of the, the Sunni Arab states have to navigate with regard to, for example, the Palestinians. So the, the Abraham Accords essentially says that there will be no annexation of territory for a, for a short period of time or whatever that period of time is, sort of unspecified, uh, and that there'll be normalization of relations. What are the contours of a, of a normalization deal with Saudi Arabia look like? Now, first, a correction. Uh, under the deal that we worked out with Trump, had uh, uh, we would uh, actually, the minute we agreed to the uh, um, the Trump peace plan, we would be able to apply Israeli law or an ex in your uh, language, uh, 30%, the critical 30% of Judea Samaria, uh, regardless of whether the Palestinians agreed or not. That didn't quite materialize yet, but that was the actual deal that we worked out. Uh, now you ask a question about uh, what would require, what would be required to make peace with Saudi Arabia? Strong Israeli government that faces Iran, that is not just saying, uh, you know, uh, lip service that well, they're against the agreement because 80% of the public here is against the agreement. So, But really to fight it out, go to the UN, go to Congress, go in every possible forum, and then, of course, do the things against Iran's nuclear program, the nuclear program. Uh, and we did many things. I can't talk about it, but I could say that uh, we sent, I sent the Mossad, into the heart of Tehran to pluck the secret atomic archive that Iran had. And the can be any other sign. This is a lot of water. I feel like she could. <laughs>
והנהגת העם עומדים מאחורינו. בימים האחרונים נפגשים לוחמינו בבסיסים, בשטחי הכינוס, בצפון, בדרום. יש לנו צבא נהדר, חיילים מופלאים וגיבורים, יהודים ולא 